Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Faizan Iqbal and I'm here with the topic from Madan. Shahr al-Siyam, the month of fasting. Let's begin. Fasting is a special act of worship of the month of Ramadan, which was made mandatory in Sha'aban 2 AH. Thereafter, the Prophet ﷺ observed the obligatory fasts of Ramadan for the remainder of his life. Fasting was also obligatory for the previous nations and now for the Muslim Ummah, for whom Allah chose this month of Ramadan as the month of fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you, that you may become righteous. Surah Al-Baqarah 183 And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The new moon of the month, let him fast it. Surah Al-Baqarah 185 The obligation to fast is proved by several sayings of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Islam is built on five pillars. The testimony that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a slave and messenger, establishing prayer, paying zakah, performing pilgrimage to the house and fasting in the month of Ramadan. Agreed upon the words of Sahih Muslim, 113. Not only is fasting a compulsory act of worship, but it also has numerous benefits and is a source of earning immense rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as is evident from the following a hadith. Fasting is a mean of entry into paradise. Abu Umayma and who reported, I came to the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Order me to perform a deed that will allow me to enter paradise. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Stick to fasting as there is nothing equivalent to it. Sunan al Nasai 2222. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed, there is a gate of paradise called Ar Rayyan. It will be called on the Day of Judgment. Where are the ones who fast? So whoever is among the fasting ones will enter it, and the one who enters it will never be thirsty. Sunan Ibn Majah 1640 The Prophet Muhammad said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Every good deed of the son of Adam is for him, except for fasting. It is for me, and I shall reward it. Narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari, 1904. It is a great honor that while other good deeds receive a reward from 10 to 700, the actual reward for fasting has been kept hidden, since fasting is itself a hidden act of worship. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, By he in whose hand is my soul, the breath of the fasting person is more pleasing to Allah than the fragrance of musk. Fasting is a shield. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, Fasting is a shield from hellfire like one of you in battle. Sunan Ibn Majah, 1639 through fasting, people are saved from all those sins which may lead them to hellfire. Fasting is a protection from hellfire. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, No slave fasts one day in the way of Allah without Allah putting his face a 70 years journey away from the fire on account of that day. Narrated in Sahih Muslim 2711. In the Arabic language, the word siyam literally means to stop something and refrain from doing something completely. In Sharia, it is to show servitude to Allah by abstaining from eating, drinking, sexual relations and other acts that nullify the fast from free down to sunset with the intention of worship. Fasting is not only just a means of abstaining from food and drink but also of leaving many bad habits. This is why 
Ibn al-Jawzi has started three levels of fasting. 1. Ordinary fast, to abstain from eating and physical desires. 2. Special fasting, to protect the eyes, tongue, limbs, and all other organs of the body from sin. 3. Unique fasting, to rid the heart of every useless and baseless thought and of any idea that would distance one from Allah and fill the heart with the remembrance of Allah alone. Things to remember Fasting is a mandatory act of worship. Observe it with a pure intention, solely to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not leave a fast without shari, legitimate excuse. Abstain from all those acts that nullify the fast. And be especially cautious about the tongue during fasting. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, Whoever fasts during Ramadan with faith and seeking his reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have his past sins forgiven. Narrated in Sahih Bukhari 38. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.